I can't really remember when I last had any hope. And I certainly can't remember when anyone else did either. Because really... The year is 2027 and the world has become a place where people can no longer procreate. So when the youngest child on earth dies at the ripe old age of 18, everyone experiences the loss in children of men. Clive Owen gets caught up in a race to save the only pregnant mother on the planet from dangerous predators. He says he loved the mixture of making a film that is not only entertaining, but also has a message as well. It's also good to be involved in a film that's about something. That's not to say that there's nothing wrong with a purely entertaining movie that has no social commentary whatsoever, but you are thoroughly entertained. That is completely valid, and I love going to see movies like that. But when you get a movie like this that is a forward-thrusting chase movie that's got a great story and is, you know, full of action and momentum, but is also crammed full of serious social commentary, it's always better if it's about something. Newcomer Claire Hope Ashete makes her sophomore debut as the pregnant savior. Claire says Children of Men is a cautionary tale that we must take care of our children because they are the future. If you watch and if you pay attention, there is a constant vein of hope in, in what he carries and, and what she possesses. And, and it ends on a note, I think, of a complete hope and that there is um, a way forward and that is, you know, as it were, a light at the end of the tunnel, even though um, the things that we are doing to each other today, which are mirrored in the movie, could be leading us to quite a bleak future. Julianne Moore stars as a revolutionary trying to save the future of mankind, and Michael Caine plays an aging hippie who has removed himself from society, living a green life in the forest.